Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. In this project, we'll build an IoT based smart exhaust fan using the ESP32 microcontroller with manual control and real time monitoring system. The project focuses on creating a smart exhaust fan for your kitchen or bathroom. The system is designed to monitor environmental conditions like gas level, temperature, and humidity. We'll use MQ2 gas or smoke sensor and the DST11 humidity temperature sensor for this application. The data from this sensor is sent to the blink dashboard allowing the real-time monitoring. The main feature of this project is the automation of the exhaust fan. This is a 110 or 220 volt AC exhaust fan which is powered through a relay. The fan operation is controlled based on the gas level detected by MQ2 sensor. This means when the gas levels are high, the system automatically turns on the fan to ventilate the area. This can enhance the safety and improve the air quality. Apart from this, the system provides manual control of the fan via the blink dashboard. This means you can manually override the system to turn on the fan all the time. I have explained in detail about this project in this entire video. So let's get started. The first thing I need for this project was an exhaust fan. So most of the exhaust fan in the market are very very expensive. So for this, I went to oneguao.com, a Chinese website, who are the manufacturer of so many different types of exhaust fan. They make mixed flow inline duct fan, AC and DC fan, centrifugal fans, dryer box, carbon filter, and so many fan accessories. From this list, I selected one of the fan and added to the cart and then placed an order. I received this fan in a week. So if you want to buy a fan from this website, you can use the coupon code howtoelectronics.com and you will get a discount of 30%. The link is given in the description. This is the 7 inch exhaust fan I will be using for my project. With this fan, there are a lot of accessories that can help you in assembling this in your kitchen and fixing it in your washroom. So it operates at 110 volt AC as I am using in USA and Canada region. The same version of fan is available at 220 volt as well. Just simply plug in and the fan will start operating. But in our project, we will be controlling it using a relay. Apart from fan, we will be using some other components for this project. This is an ESP32 Wi-Fi and BLE based microcontroller. This is the MQ2 gas sensor for monitoring the smoke or gas level. This is the DST11 humidity and temperature sensor. We'll be using a single channel relay module to control this fan. Here is the schematic for the project. So for DST11, we'll be using the GPIO pin 22. For the relay, we'll be using the GPIO pin 23. And for the gas sensor, we'll be using the analog pin that is GPIO 34. And as seen in the circuit, this is how you can connect this exhaust fan with the relay and 110 volt power supply. By looking at the circuit diagram, I connected the DST11 sensor, MQT sensor and the relay module to ESP32 as shown here. For this, I used a zero PCB or a Vero board. The relay is also connected to the 110 volt AC fan. Now this AC fan is powered using 110 volt AC supply. So you can simply use the schematic and complete the circuit as shown. Now it's time to set up the Blink app or the Blink dashboard. So open Blink web dashboard and go to the template section. From here create a new template. Name your template as IoT Smart Exhaust Fan or anything you want. And then from this list select the ESP32 as hardware model. 
the template is created now you need to configure everything from here so go to the data stream section and in this section we'll be creating five data streams now the five data streams are gas percentage which will be assigned as v0 virtual pin then temperature as v1 humidity as v2 manual control as v4 and the relay status as v3 now save this data stream now in the dashboard section we need to create a dashboard now so for that start edging the widgets for example for gas level temperature and humidity we can use gauge and for relay we can use button widget for relay status we can use led widget now we need to link all this widget with the data streams the dashboard is also created now in the device section add a new device that you created so the authentication token has been generated now and this will be used in the ESP32 code. Now let's move to the coding part of the project. Now in this line we have set up the Blink ID and the template name. So here we have included the Blink ESP32 library and the DST sensor library. From this line change the Blink authentication token. Now in this line change the Wi-Fi SSID and password. Here we have the defined the DST pin as 22 and the DST type as DST 11. The gas sensor is assigned as pin 32, 34 and the relay pin is assigned as pin 23. Here we have set the gas threshold as 20. You can change this if you want. Now in the setup section we have initialized the serial begin function and then the DST sensor and the blink. We have also defined the relay and gas sensor as input of the output pin initially the relay is low which means it should turn off initially now using the virtual v4 uh, function for blink app we are manually controlling the relay in the loop section uh, we are reading the sensor value and converting into the percentage using the map function similar we are also reading the humidity and temperature value from the dst11 sensor all these values are printed here on the serial monitor. Now this function is assigned for manual mode which means when the pin is pressed high it should turn on the relay high and if released it should turn off the relay low. Now we are sending the gas percentage temperature and humidity value uh, using this function virtual write function. Now from the board list select the ESP32 developer module then select the com port and then hit on the upload button to upload the code so that's it the code will be uploaded after uploading the code open your serial monitor so in the serial monitor section you can see the humidity value the temperature value the analog value of the gas sensor and also the gas percentage is displayed in order to test the device now let us connect this fan to the AC supply. Now in order to change this fan automatically let's spray the gas or introduce smoke in front of the gas sensor. So I have a body spray which is a gas. So if you put this body spray at MQ2 sensor the gas level will exceed 25% and in this case the fan will turn automatically. So let's test it. So here you can see the gas value rises and the exhaust fan is on and slowly as the gas value has dropped because of the exhaust fan as it is taking away all the gases from the internal room to the outside. So this is how the automatic mode works. Now in case if you want to control the fan manually which means the fan should be turned on all the time. So you can click on this button. So as you can see when this button is pressed the relay turns on and the fan is also turned on. So this is how you can control the fan automatically 
or manually all these things can be observed on mobile dashboard or a web dashboard now this is the web dashboard uh, that you can see here uh, which looks good and even the mobile dashboard has the same feature you can get the code and complete detail of this project from the how to electronics website article visit how to electronics.com from the link in the description and get everything that you want thank you so much for watching see you in the next video